So let p of x equal 3x to the fourth minus 2x cubed minus x squared minus 12x minus 4. Factor p into linear and irreducible quadratic factors with real coefficients. We'll start by making a list of our possible rational zeros um, by using the rational zeros theorem. Um, and this is the theorem where we take the factors of the constant term, 4, and divide by the factors of the leading coefficient, 3. And uh, so we take the factors of 4, that's, that's 1, 2, and 4, and we'll be dividing those by the factors of 3, which are 1 and 3. And of course we do plus or minus. And so we look at each of these uh, possible uh, divisions. So 1 over 1 is 1, 2 over 1 is 2, and 4 over 1 is 4, and then 1 over 3, and 2 over 3, and 4 over 3. Um, and of course it's plus or minus all those. So then we just need to start uh, testing these to, to find um, a zero for this, uh, this polynomial. So we're going to use synthetic division. Uh, so we list our coefficients 3, negative 2, negative 1, negative 12, negative 4. And uh, out here, let's just start with 1. Keep it simple. So uh, we have 1, and uh, we go through and do our synthetic division. And uh, we do not get 0, so 1 does not work. So let's go ahead and uh, try um, another number from our list. Let's just move up the list here. Um, you'll notice that uh, I have one sign change in this polynomial. So Descartes' rule of sign tells me I have one, uh, precisely one, uh, positive real 0. So we're, we're trying to find that right now. So let's go ahead and move on to 2 and go through our synthetic division. And we, uh, we get 0 here. Which is awesome. That means that 2 is a 0. And uh, that tells us that at this point, we know that our polynomial factors is x minus 2 times. And then these are the coefficients of what's left over. So 3x cubed plus 4x squared uh, plus 7x plus 2. Okay. And you'll notice that all those are positive. Um, and uh, so there are no more positive real zeros. So let's go ahead and start testing out some negative numbers. Um, let's try a negative one. We didn't get zero, so negative one does not work. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and try, let's, let's jump to a fraction. Let's try one of those fractions. How about uh, negative one-third? Bring three down. And that worked out for us. So now we can uh, go one step further. And uh, we've got here our x minus 2. Oops, x minus 2. And then uh, the negative 1 third means that we have an x plus 1 third. And then this thing here, this is 3 x squared plus 3x plus 6. And now we've got this quadratic that we can work with. Uh, notice that we've got a common factor of 3. So we're going to pull a common factor of 3 out of that. And we're actually, I'm actually going to put it with this just to make it look nicer because that's going to get rid of the fraction there. Um, and I'm going to come over here to do that. So I've got my x minus 2. And then multiplying that x plus a third by 3, we have 3x plus 1. And then uh, I've got, after pulling the 3 out, I have x squared plus x plus 2. And uh, this quadratic here um, is actually irreducible. We can see that by checking b squared minus 4ac. So that's uh, 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 2. That's a negative 7, uh, which is, well, that's negative. And if you get that quantity to be negative, that means you've got an irreducible quadratic. 
So this is an irreducible quadratic, and this is our factored form of p of x.